since the NBA bubble started, TJ Warren is a name that has really, a name I learned about. He's on the uh, Indiana Pacers. TJ Warren had a 53-point game to start the Indiana Pacers, you know, run in the NBA bubble. And I went, oh, okay, wow. And TJ Warren burst onto the scene. But there are three other players that you know, are in the NBA right now that, in my opinion, are not very popular and I believe deserve a little bit more recognition. Now, number one is Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr., I call him GT Jr. Um, he's a guy who comes off the bench for the Portland Trailblazers. He was a second-round pick in 2018. He's the son of a former NBA player, Gary Trent. Obviously, his dad, because he's Gary Trent Jr. Uh, the dad played for the Blazers, the Raptors, the Mavs, the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And against Memphis, GT Jr., Gary Trent Jr., had 17 points, four three-pointers. Uh, you know, you can see that he can catch and shoot. He can shoot off the dribble and hit threes. And then against Boston, he had 21 points, seven three-pointers. Bang, huge deal. And I, I got to wonder, like, if Gary Trent Jr. had started over Zach Collins, the Blazers might have had a better defensive matchup with the Celtics and could have won that game. And then he had 116 points. What am I saying? Whoa, not 116. He had 16 points against the Houston Rockets. And uh, he's progressing. He's not just a three-point shooter. He was actually driving to the rim and had a really good and one. And so Gary Trent Jr. right now is a dude who is an up-and-coming player. He deserves a lot of respect. He can score. Uh, he's got great effort. He's clearly, the work ethic is there. He's gotten a lot better. And he's working really, really hard ever since joining the NBA two years ago. Now, number two, the next guy on the list is probably the least noteworthy player on the list, it's Mikal Bridges from uh, the Phoenix Suns. He's a second-year player out of Villanova. He won a national championship there at Villanova. And I, I, the best thing Mikal Bridges brings to the table is his defense. He's not a incredibly wild scorer that puts up giant numbers and hits a bunch of threes, but he's got really good on-ball defense, and it's a guy that no one really talks about because he's on the Phoenix Suns, which doesn't help him. Then he's also a guy who doesn't put up a bunch of points, which helps him even less. And uh, he's the guy who guarded Kawhi Leonard when the Suns played against the Clippers. Remember, the Suns beat the Clippers. Part of that was Devin Booker. Part of that was because they had a guy who could guard Kawhi Leonard. And uh, his defense is a really important part of the Suns' recent success. He is your on-ball defender, the guy you put on whoever you're playing, the best player you're playing. And he deserves a little bit more recognition Mikal Bridges from the Phoenix Suns is a guy that, again, not a loud, flashy player, but does some really good work on defense. You know, number three is my favorite player on the list. He was an undrafted free agent out of Michigan two years ago. He is now a starter for the Miami Heat. That is Duncan Robinson, my favorite story on this list. Um, he doesn't just play. Again, he's a starter. And it's so cool. He's shooting for over a little bit over 44%. Uh, from three-point range this year. Uh, again, an undrafted free agent from Michigan. He goes to Miami, becomes a starter. He had 21 points and a win over the Celtics. And, uh, man, I really hope that Duncan Robinson gets a raise and a new contract eventually. I'm so happy for him. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. is working really hard. Duncan Robinson is working really hard. He's really much improved. And uh, those are three people, Mikael Bridges, Duncan Robinson, and Gary Trent Jr., Three guys that, in my mind, are not big names that deserve a little bit more recognition so far, especially in the NBA bubble, but just currently around throughout the league. Those are three guys that deserve a little bit more recognition in the NBA. 